Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. Maybe I could just lower. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's locked. No way in. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Breaks it. I got your promise I wouldn't be now. Not a scratch. I kind of want to know about copper, though. Something you need? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. Who you do that? I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! Why is he just standing there angrily? I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Got that one off! The positive terminal still bolted on! Bro, I'm trying to screw it off. It's off. That's it. Take it. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. You know how heavy that is. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. I walk slowly. I guarantee you, her back is breaking right now. Great. Now what? Skylight. It's shot. Shoot it out. Okay, so now we're on a roof. This game is so realistic. I love it so much. You say that, but you're actually very much enjoying this entire game. You know what? How about you shut up? Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> Jump! He's like, bitch, I can't do that! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Woo! <laughs> Misses. <laughs> what kind of jump was that? That was such a little jump that I love.
Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? What if she dies. Can't open it without the combination. Oh, hello. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. I'm in the mood for pizza now. You're back! Yeah, Ooh, I we have made pizza. out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Literally, what can he do? You get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Looks like they have quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. 
Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. I honestly realize mm -hmm. you have to be extremely concentrated because you have barely spoken. <laughs> How into this are you right now? This one's good. Oh, Shit. cool. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Oh, no guns. It's gotta be. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna pop them one by one. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Uh. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Oh, my nose. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? It's not illegal. You know, HIPAA or HIPPO. What? It's just me going through uh, later, I think. people's medical files. What is this? A copy machine. I guess, but that it matters with no after an apocalypse, here. would it really matter? this on the floor it's a sonogram well like a baby is that what that is uh, already cleaned out y'all already checked these drawers yes Lee nothing in there worth taking She's just, she, she, she's just... Vernon, Krista, come look at this. She's just in a mood. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, Aww. you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. 
I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. Are you serious? We're gonna go back out there? Would you go back? I wanna go back out there. I realize my haircut makes me look like I have a really big forehead. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> I need you to be brutally honest with me. Do I have a big forehead? Yes. It only fits the four fingers. Yeah, my four fingers fill on my forehead like perfectly fine. I bet you in your forehead you only fit three. Did you do it? I can fit four on mine too. Can you fit four of my fingers on your forehead? Oh. No, probably not. <laughs> oh, hello! Where did the guy come from? Oh, it's gonna break. It's gonna break. Oh. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. How about we get out of here? Shit, time to go. The game doesn't cut into like how we got back though. What oh, is falling asleep? What'd you say? <laughs> This must have been his locker. Tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Why was his blood orange? No. 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 You run, girl. I'm pretty sure they killed her. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. I... I, I don't even want to ask. Krista, are you alright? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just... 
hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. That Antibiotics, like morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Should we watch the tape? I guess, yeah. God, I'm, I really want pizza. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. Cool. Loki kind of expected something worse, though. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Girl. I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Here you go. Did I put it in my pocket? <laughs> what What's was that? that? Maybe we put everything in our pockets, remember. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place earned their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret, kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. 
We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to <gasps> bust it open. He has the box. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle Christ. at the end of the hallway back there. Oh. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, shit! Did I get him? It wasn't me! Good going, oh. kid. Nice. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of her.